ONAP is a next generation automation platform. Building on the disruptions of SDN and NFV. And we have claimed that mandatory automation is required before 5G and IoT hits. And ONAP's first release called Amsterdam is here to fulfill that promise. It's the first vendor agnostic, model driven automation platform with complete closed loop automation. Now, there's a lot of words here, but let me just break it down. There's the technology components with a unified code base uh, with a lot of uh, service automation, uh, proven le uh, Linux Foundation processes, and more importantly, VNF lifecycle management. And then the community is now way over 55%. It is all top 10 networking vendors participating and a lot of developers. Let me give you some stats. 58 members, we just announced Turk Telecom as a platinum. 1380 uh, Wiki members. 538 contributors, including code contributors, documentation, uh, testers, integrators, release managers. So the community has come together in just eight months and released Amsterdam. Amsterdam has created an architectural framework, which is really a platform. It's not a product, it's a platform. And the platform essentially um, has brought together multiple code bases and it's extremely modular to use. So we have the northbound with APIs that are standard based with MEF, TMF, et cetera. Southbound, which is Etsy compliant Mano integration. And both design and runtime are all through the closed loop automation. And this architecture and this platform is one of its kind in the world, and that's why most of the carriers are participating in this project. The use of this is all on VNF onboarding, and a simple VNF can be deployed, onboarded, and automated in no time. And we're starting to see multiple POCs, multiple proof of concepts, and multiple real deployments happen, whether it's AT&T, China Mobile, Orange, Bell Canada, Vodafone, um, you name it. There's a whole set of uh, members and more importantly vendors coming up with products that are announced based on ONAP. ONAP has also uh, tested a couple of blueprints in the Amsterdam release. Now remember, blueprints are not use cases because they combine multiple use cases to show an end-to-end -end service. Um, and so we have Volti as a blueprint, we have VCPE as a blueprint, which has pulled in a set of use cases that uh, have a lot more than just one or two. And effectively what we are showing here with Amsterdam is these blueprints can be integrated and deployed in a real production environment, and it is uh, completely tested with all the components. Now, multiple members are taking pieces of the platform and then creating products out of it. The thing that I get most excited about is the participation and the global nature of the diverse community. We've seen from a very concentrated set of players, both code contributors as well as overall contributors. We have seen over 538 unique total participation across 22 member companies, and not just focused with a few large vendors. And this shows that the community is diverse. They're building modular products and solutions uh, that can be built off the platform, and they're contributing back into the platform for further use. Beyond Amsterdam, we have the Beijing release coming up, which will be focusing on expanding the platform capabilities for 5G, IoT, and further network automation, as well as more harmonization across standards and other open source communities. So we're very excited to, uh, to provide the first release of Amsterdam, which effectively is built on two proven deployed code bases, Ecomp and OpenO, and a merged unified platform that has tipped the global service provider participation well beyond 55%. We're so really excited and we thank the members of uh, the community from the Linux Foundation side.